What's up guys, Rob Kuhn here. Look, we all have poker friends. Sometimes you fight with them off the felt, sometimes you fight with them on the felt. In today's video, we're going to see a, let's just call it a fight, between Phil Helmuth and Daniel Negreanu with a little bit of poker action in between. This buildup is, well, very fun. Let's go ahead and get in the action. All I did is play against the greatest players of all through the 80s and 90s because they're the only people that played the tournaments. But everybody yeah, was right? bad back then. Yeah. Well, that's so not you're fair. Everybody was bad. The best Except player. for Helmuth. So why don't you tell the story, and then when you're done, I'll, I'll tell my story. Oh, you hit a nerve. <laughs> don't interrupt me. <laughs> Let me get my spiel in, or, or, or don't I like it. I don't want to play, I don't wanna play, uh, I don't wanna play the debate game where I just get cut off with bull. Daniel does that to me all the time. I don't Daniel hasn't said anything. He didn't do anything. Daniel's but go ahead. But let me. But let's hear it. Go I ahead. Have, I have to. I have to silence. Guilty before, before you do it, right? You know how many times he's done this? He says, "Don't say anything. <laughs> let me finish, and then you can talk." Then he's. Yeah, I don't say a word. Right. Right. <laughs> then I go. Okay. So Phil, here's the thing. Within one. Within three seconds, he goes. Blah 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 yeah. blah blah. <laughs> yeah, but then you call me out and I shut up. Well, I mean, it, you, a guy can be wrong, but admit he's wrong. Like that's important in life. There's a, a lot of people in poker that don't admit they're wrong. My whole goal was to not play Maria. No, that's yeah, your line. That's my Did you guys line. ever see the movie Step Brothers? And Phil, the win turn. Just for reference before we get into this hand, this is a $10,000 sit and go on Poker After Dark with famous players such as Phil Helmuth and Daniel Granu and other famous celebrities like Bruce Buffer and Nick Wright and so on. Let's go ahead and get in the action. You have to play a bunch of great players, of course. But so like, this is what pissed me off. Let me, let me yeah, respond sure. and let's see if nobody interrupts me. Maybe Sorry, I can fucking finish. All through the 90s, I played against the greatest players. They all played in the tournaments. I beat them all. Same thing in the 80s, right? And then all of a sudden, they developed this narrative that I'm not good against good players. So the very field that has all of the great check, check, flop. players are the turbos. And in the last four turbos, I have a first, uh, a sixth, a fifth, three final tables, some crazy amount, three final tables in five years. And this is the one where I'm not supposed to compete because all the GTO guys, it's all math because the blinds go up so quickly. So After fighting King Queen Pre, Nick Wright turns the nuts and decides to lead a quarter pot, which I really like. This is good sizing. It allows one pair type of hands to call. Personally, really like to see Maria Ho go for the fold here as she's going to have a lot better hands in her range. You really don't need to call a bottom pair on a one card straight. It's aggravating for me. You know, not to hear, aggravating as a jack stuff, on the turn know, for I, me. I thought that the greatest poker player of all time was the one who was going to win the most bracelets. That's what I set out to do. I did that. And now all of a sudden, oh, wait, you are not the greatest of all time. Uh, you know, and so if people come and say, Phil, you're not the greatest today. Um, I want a chance to prove I am, but I can't, I can't say that I'm better than a lot, of the, a lot of the people because that's not fair to them. Not because they study, uh, but because there's a lot of talented uh, players Maria. out there right? that also study. Bets twenty two thousand five hundred yeah, on the know, river with backdoor speeds what, like coming. If you in. study, if you if you study bad math, you become better at math. But how do you know it's bad if you've never studied it? That's not my question to you. Let me ask you a question. This this I think and work with me. We we can have a discussion together. Nick Wright goes for the check on the river, which induces Maria Ho to turn her hand into a bluff, which I really like by Maria because she's not going to have worse hands to bluff with. Now Nick Wright obviously has a call here. I'm not really sure why I decided to fold it. I guess he was scared of the spades, the backdoor spades that came in. But personally, I think I would just like to call. She didn't bet that that big. She bet around pot. It's still definitely a call. Anyway, let's carry on as Phil continues to talk. I'm talking about your genre, which is tournaments. And I'm saying the best tournament poker players in the world, right, today, are generally playing, I'm going to make it 6,000, in the high roller events. Like this one. Hmm? They said like this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see better players generally in a 25K buy-in than you are in a 300 No, I do get mad at the moving the goalposts, and they're like, well, whoever wins the most money, then I just went out and won all this money. And they're like, oh, yeah, but now you're not playing against the best to win the money. Like, I mean, Daniel's like such a politician. He changes the goalposts and changes and changes and changes. And I think you're going to be up against that forever, Phil. So. Yep, agree. Five. I didn't expect it's it from it's Daniel. It's lonely at the top, isn't it? Didn't expect it from Daniel, though. You want me to tell you I think you're better than Phil Ivey at something? What? What, what do I think you're better than, than Phil Ivey at? Like, name it. I don't know. What, what am I supposed to give you here? I'm not better. Bingo. Promoting yourself. I'm not there. better at Texas Hold'em than Phil Ivey? No, you're not better at Texas Hold'em than Phil Ivey. You want to bet on what, what he would say? Well, I, already, he would, he already, he, I already know what Phil would say. He's like, oh, no, Phil, he's almost the best, because yeah. he doesn't care like you do, right? right? He doesn't care. He's True. Not, well, he's not going to say something like, to, you know, boost his ego or whatever. He doesn't give a people think, really, in that regard. 
so his opinion doesn't matter. Well, his opinion on who's better? He's gonna say you because he wants action. Okay, he's a hustler, old school. You hit you know it. What I'm saying? You hit it. Ivy, right. Ivy, right. Ivy, right. Ivy knows him better at, at Hold'em right. than he is, and he knows he's better at almost every other game than me. We, we kind of, we discussed this, we know You're this. not better at Phil Ivy at like literally <laughs> except promoting this. That's it, that's all you got. Phil Ivey would mash you in every other format, and I'll bet my money on it. And there's Phil Ivey, there's other examples, not even Phil Ivey. Side note, while Daniel is arguing with Phil, he's value betting the river. If you're capable of bluffing here, props to you. That's impressive. Ouch. Okay, heights and weights, guys. Heights and weights. <laughs> Get ready for this. Your results in high rollers, 25K no limit above. You have zero firsts. Zero seconds, zero thirds. How much That's money not exactly you lied about me and never corrected Wait, is that true or not? Good fool by Jennings. Have you had a third or better? Correct. He's pretty full right. So what do, you want to, what do you want to say? You can't beat the high rolls if you never beat As them. He's like, I'm up a million and a half on high rolls. Oh, congrats on that. So why do you make, why do you, why do you leave I just a said a fact, because I'm yeah. saying a fact. You've yeah, never come first, second. Because you're a politician, you just want to spin it. Because, is it true? Have you ever come first, second, or third in a 25K no limit or above? No, but I'm up 1.6 no. million. No, well, but hold on. The fact is, no. So you've never won, you've never come second, you've never come third, but you think that you're the greatest at that format that, that other people have won 30, 40 million in. I didn't say I was the greatest at that format, Daniel. Nick. All I do is win, 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 no, no matter, matter what. what. <laughs> up, up, and they stay there, and they stay there. Up, down, up. Rolling down the streets. Yes. Talking about... Sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> Sipping on um, gin and juice. Yes. <laughs> Laid back. Yes. <laughs> my mind, my money. Up, down, up, up, down, up. And my money on my mind. Laid back. Like poetry. With my mind on my money and my money on my mind. I did show. it. Yeah, I was going to My it. way. Sometimes friends get in arguments off the table, and this time, on the table. If you did enjoy this video, click the sub button below to get notified when more videos come out. Much love. Baby, you 